Hello everyone and welcome to our video series Saladi Ala Digital Cultural History for Intermediate Students. In this lesson you will be learning who the British are following with the Middle Ages. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. If you enjoy the videos, please share them with your friends. Shall we begin? This video covers a period from 1272 to 1485, a time known as Middle Ages or Medieval period. Now this was a time of violence and wars. The kings struggled to control the barons. The barons fought with one another for more land. And so many wars brought death, famine and plague to the country. By this time, different kings ruled England with the help of the barons. Some kings were murdered and some others came to the throne by violence. Edward II, for example, was murdered and Edward III came to the throne by violence. Richard II was murdered and Henry IV came to the throne by violence as well. Followed by Henry VI that was murder as well. And at last Edward V was murdered too. Richard III came to the throne by violence and was killed at the very end. In the Middle Ages Almost everyone lived in a village. Each villager farmed his land. The peasants and their children worked the land. And all the work was done by hand. They only had oxen to help to pull heavy loads or to plow. The peasants lived in wooden huts. The huts were smelly, dirty and dark. Their main food was bread and the water was not clean so often people drank beer instead. They were not allowed to hunt for food. If they did they were hanged. On feast days, the lords held a banquet in their castles. They used to serve 40 different dishes. In the Middle Ages, most people never left their villages, but some had to travel and the carriages were not comfortable. The roads were muddy in winter and very dusty in summer. The heavy loads were sent in boats by sea. The population at the time in the Middle Ages was much smaller than it is today. As you know, today Great Britain has 66 million people and in the Middle Ages there was only 6 million people. London was the largest city. Fairs were held once a year and merchants came from all over Europe bringing silk from China, wine from France, furs from Russia and they liked violent sports such as cockfighting or bear baiting or archery. So the knights 
were offered lands as a reward for fighting for the king or the barons. They learned how to fight and write. They trained up to 10 years to become a knight. In the Middle Ages, they also enjoyed tournaments. Crowds of people came to watch. Kings and barons built castles to protect their lands. But it was a time of wars and death. During the Middle Ages, parts of France were ruled by the English and parts by the French. Each side wanted the land owned by the other. The war broke out from 1337 to 1453 and is known as the Hundred Years' War. And they also had a plague, a serious plague, called the Black Death. In 1348, a terrible plague reached England. It came from China, carried by the fleas which lived on black rats. And this disease had no cure. It killed one third of the whole population. It was called the Black Death because people died with their bodies covered by black and red spots. And so after the Black Death, there were fewer peasants to work the land because many of them had died. They wanted more wages and they wanted to be free. And so they began to be very angry and attacked the lords. It was called the Peasants' Revolt. During this period, most kings had problems in ruling the country because of challenges by rich and powerful barons. And so a very important war began, the War of the Roses, between 1455 and 1485, and was one of the most important historical events in the history of England. The War of the Two Roses. It was a competition between two royal families, the Lancaster family, whose badge was a red rose, and the York family, whose badge was a white rose. This war lasted for 30 years in England. What happened with this war? Edward III was King of England from 1327 to 1377. And after his death, his many children and their descendants argued over who should rule England. The descendants eventually were split into the Yorks and the Lancasters. And one of them became king. In fact, Henry VI became king in 1422. Henry was not a strong ruler, but his queen, Margaret of Anjou, was very influential. But in 1453, Henry became mentally sick and could not rule effectively. So, Richard, Duke of York, became the temporary ruler of England. But Henry recovered. He was not sick anymore. But Richard did not want to give up his power. So, this led to the first battle between the Yorkists and Lancastrians at St. Albans on May 22, 1455, and Richard and the Yorkists won the battle. And battles continued to be fought 
during 1459 and 1460. Lancastrians surprised and killed Richard in December 1460. And Richard's son, Edward, was proclaimed King Edward IV on March 4, 1461. So Edward IV pursued the Lancastrians to Towton, where the bloodiest battle of the war took place. The Yorkists won. Harry, Margaret and their son had to flee to Scotland. The Yorkists then began to argue among themselves and put Henry VI back on the throne. But Edward returned from Scotland in 1471 and what happened? He defeated the queen and the king and killed their son. And Edward IV became king once again. He held the throne until he died. And after Edward's death, his brother, Richard III, claimed the throne. But how did Richard claim the throne? He declared that Edward's son did not have the right to be king. Edward V's supporters turned to Harry Tudor, of course. And another battle ended the war. Henry and his forces defeated and killed Richard III at Bosworth Field on August 22, 1485. And this battle ended the Wars of the Roses. And at last, Henry Tudor was crowned Henry VII on October 30, 1485. He united the York and Lancaster houses by marrying Edward IV's daughter, Elizabeth of York, in 1486. And these began the reign of the House of Tudor. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. If you want private lessons, please send an email to saladialadigital2020 at gmail.com. Bye-bye!